guys, this is Happy Grenade, coming to you in my first episode. I'm going to show you guys how to use your Xbox 360 controller on your computer. It's fairly simple. If you're using a wireless controller, you're going to need a wireless gaming receiver. It looks something like this right here. Uh, you, you know, you can pick it up at your local GameStop or your Best Buy, you know, whatever. I don't care. I'm not going to waste your time. It costs about 20 bucks. Uh, once you get that and hook it up, you're going to need to download this software right here, um, including a link to this uh, in the information tab to your right. So go to that link, then you'll need to click download right here. It'll take you, you need to uh, download this version 5.0 and open it with a compressed folder right there. Make sure you do that. Then uh, once you do that, it's going to come up something like, uh, let's see, first it's going to give you something like this, then you're going to need to extract this. Then you'll get this right here. Go ahead and open that up and um, make sure you have your controller connected before you do this or it will not work. So um, you're going to need to click this wrench right here. So, and uh, This is what it's going to look like after you have it configured completely. You're going to have all these buttons right here. Uh, go ahead and go to sticks and enable both of those right there. D-pad, same thing, enable. Now for buttons you need to go through and just press every single button on your 360 controller and then all this is going to come up on the purple screen uh... then go to triggers enable those and then when you're finished just hit close and uh... see i've got my 360 controller hooked up right here All right. now when i press a button it's going to flash up on this screen right here see i'm pulling my r trigger and there it is right there now it sh whenever i pull that it gives me the option to choose what I want it to do. So I can choose the function I want that the right trigger to have. So right now I have it the left mouse click, as you can see right here. I've chosen. So that's that. All right. Now I've got the A button. It's flashing right here. Say I want that to be the space button. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on that button. And I'm going to click space. And now that's my space button. So I've got my R trigger and space button. Now you can go through and do this to all your buttons to configure it. And uh, then you can, you know, change it to what you want for your games and everything like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you think. Leave some comments. If you know any easier ways to do this, just let me know. Thanks for watching.